so today I'm talking about Miraculous, and I have only reviewed Miraculous one time on this channel, and that was the movie that they made. But don't watch it. The old video is bad, and the art is bad. Everything about it is bad. I did mention in that video, though, that I had only watched season five. And now, at the time of recording this, I have watched most of Miraculous. I did skip some episodes because I could not stand watching another one where the pigeon man gets akumatized. But there was a theme that I noticed while watching it, and it was Miraculous's problem with redemption. Out of all the se five seasons of the show, three characters get redeemed. Those characters are Chloe's dad, Adrian's cousin Felix, and Gabriel Agrest. And there, it's just kind of strange how they handle redemption, and I know I'm not the only one who's talked about this. If you look on YouTube, there are a bunch of other videos discussing the, the problem with redemption in Miraculous. And I'm just throwing my own opinions out there. I might not say anything new since so many people have already talked about it, but I just want to, so. This intro has got long enough, so let's just get right into it. I know I only mentioned three characters getting redeemed, but there is one character who was set up for redemption, which is Chloe. Chloe is a character who wasn't really raised in the best home. Her mom is kind of the worst, and her dad is the mayor of the city, so he doesn't really have time to take care of his own kid. Which leaves her with her mother, who, as I mentioned, is kind of the worst. I don't really blame her for acting the way she does because she was around her mother, who also acts that way. She's a minor antagonist to Marinette because she bullies her, but, like, Chloe shouldn't bully her, of course, but you can understand why. And through the first f couple of seasons of the show, you can see her grow into a better person as she's being Queen Bee. She even gets a better role model, who is Ladybug. But then the show completely undoes all of her progress, saying Chloe was never really good, she was just Queen Bee for the clout. And then she just sides with Monarch. I'll get into reasons why this makes me so mad later on, but for now I'm just going to the next person who actually does have a full redemption. Felix is Adrian's cousin. Now, I watched the show completely out of order, so I started in season 5. And I just instantly loved Felix as soon as he appeared on screen. Since I watched the other episodes and seasons, I have a different opinion on him since the way he acted towards Adrian and the things that he's done. But overall, I still like Felix as a character. He's an anti-hero. And it's hard to do those. They're not easy characters to write. But for M Miraculous, a show with not the best writing, it does Felix decent. I definitely feel like a few things could have been done differently with this character. Especially since in the beginning, it felt like the writers didn't really know what they wanted Felix to be. Because at first, he is a big jerk to Adrian. He almost ruins Adrian's relationship with his friends. But later on, he shows that he cares about Adrian and just wants to free Adrian. And Kagami, who he ends up having a romantic relationship with, did mention how he's an anti-hero. But I think that what makes him more redeemable is that he still has a set of morals. He may do bad things things, and he may use other people for his own personal gain, but he still draws the line somewhere. Like when he sees Emily's corpse in Gabe's basement, secret hideout place, I'm not exactly sure what it is. When he sees that, he gets freaked out. Or when he tries to bring Marinette after just zapping her into oblivion, he can't do it, Adrian is upset and so is Kagami, and he is freaking out. Again! He's a pretty good anti-hero. But the problem that I have with his redemption is that it just happens too soon. Chloe's was leading up for a long time until it was just destroyed, but his is just about instant. At the end of season 5, it's even shown that he's joining Marinette's team of heroes. I don't really have anything against his redemption, but it would have been better if it was taken slower like Chloe's. It just kind of felt like he got the Darman villain treatment. Everything just has to be wrapped up nicely so the villain, or the bully, gets redeemed right at the end, recognizing all the wrong they have done and turning themselves around. Next up is Chloe's dad. I don't really have a lot to talk about here, I just don't think that he really even needed a redemption. He was just... He turned into a villain in that scene, really, because he sends his daughter away to live with her mother, who treats her badly. If you were a good father, you would have helped Chloe out and 
tell her what is right and what is wrong and be there for her. Like you are for Zoe, who no one really seems to like. And if you do like Zoe, that's perfectly fine. I think she could have been a good character if the writers just didn't put her in there to make Chloe look worse than she already does. But yeah, I just don't like the dad character. He shouldn't have sent Chloe away. If you want your daughter to be better, then you should have been there for her and not sent her away with the person who influenced her to be like that. The person I really want to talk about is Gabriel because I did not expect or want this redemption at all. And I'm someone who really likes redemption arcs and it's fun to see villains get redeemed, but Gabriel... It just wasn't great at all. And I don't really understand why Marinette would just, one, give him the ladybug and cat noir miraculous. You've seen what a horrible parent he is to Adrian, and he might be doing this to help Adrian, but what he's doing is still not right. As I mentioned before in my last video, reasons are not excuses. You can understand why somebody would do something but it doesn't excuse their actions or make it any less worse than it already is. But with the writing of Miraculous, it seems like they're trying to use this reason as an excuse for him being a bad parent and him tormenting the city. And I also don't understand why Marinette would, number two, tell Adrian that his father was great and a hero whenever he asked that Marinette would tell him that. Like, at the end of the show, they seem really close and happy and stuff. And Adrian's like, man, I'll never live up to be like my father. And Marinette's just like, mm-hmm, yep. He was a great guy. So much that we made a statue of him. And this is not at all a lie. And in the next season, if you actually ever find this out, you will not at all get upset. And then we break up. And all the build-up to this moment will not be ruined. And the fans will definitely not be upset. I guess that the reason that they did this is for easy conflict in the next season, if that's what they plan to do for Adrian to find out the truth. Which I really hope he does. Adrianette may be the big focus of the show, but ever since Marinette was stalking Adrian and memorizing his schedule, I thought that was just a little strange and didn't exactly think the relationship would be healthy. And I know Marinette got trauma from Chloe, so she has to know everything about a guy before she dates him. I understand that. But, that, but as I've mentioned before, reasons are not excuses, and they use that reason as an excuse for all her very creepy behavior. And they also probably use that just to make Chloe look even worse, so we see that she is even more unredeemable. If you could not tell, I am still upset about the whole Chloe thing. I really don't think that her character was handled fairly at all, especially compared to some of the other characters that got redeemed. But I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, since she's not a part of the show anymore. Redemption in Miraculous definitely has a problem, and it should have been done differently, especially considering Chloe and Gabriel. I think that the movie really handled Gabriel's character well, because he gets redeemed, but differently. He decides to stop trying to bring back Emily and just be there for Adrian. But what do you guys think about Miraculous and how it handles redemption? I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.